Welcome to the tutorial, how to back up your files online with Demailer Sync. In this tutorial, we're going to explain the general setup of an online account and creating an account, and we're going to show you some of the features that the online service has to offer. So, first of all, this is assuming that uh, Demailer Sync is already installed on your computer. Um, if it's not already installed, uh, you can uh, download it from uh, www demailer.com or you can uh, find further instructions on how to install it from a video which you will find linked in the instructions below here on YouTube. Okay so first of all what we're going to do is uh, create uh, click the create account button within the demailer online tab here. Okay so it's fairly straightforward and simple. We need to add our account so I'm using a test account for this today. Then we need to create a, uh, a password. Okay. All right. We need to read the license agreement. Okay. And uh, accept it and click create. Now what's going to happen now is you're going to receive uh, an email from uh, Demailer um, explaining uh, some of the, the features and things. Um, showing you how to access your files online and, and so on, but I'm also going to show you uh, how to do that uh, today. And so normally here you would receive a message saying account created. Um, uh, my account already exists, so uh, as we can see here, which is, is correct, so it won't create a second one. Um, I just wanted to show you how to uh, how to walk through this step. So now that uh, you've created your account as well, um, we can configure some of our uh, online backup settings. Now, um, okay, here we go. So here's where we select what uh, files we'd like uh, backed up and where we'd like them backed up from. Okay, so there's favorites and things like that. Now, I'm only going to be taking um, my pictures and uh, videos folder. You can take uh, whatever you like. Um, pictures, I suppose that'll do for me. And I'm only going to take uh, uh, documents, maybe Excel, why not? Um, that's just to keep this nice and quick. Uh, pictures are quite larger. Uh, we want the backup to start automatically, so that's fine. Okay. Right. So we've just got to uh, put in my account details. Okay, and as we can see, it should log in. It should go smoothly and start uploading my files to my online storage account. There it goes. Great, so everything seems to be uploading fine there and it's stopping now. So what we're going to do is we're going to log in and check these files and uh, show you some of the other features of the online service. So we're going to access our online account here. Okay. Great, so here we are now um, and we can see we've got um, a search search option here. So here's where we can search for any of our files. Um, we can also search via extensions, so Word documents or Excel documents or something like that. Um, we're not going to do that though. There we go. We can see some some examples. I'm going to go through the browse section and explore some of the uh, more interesting features, such as sharing your files. Uh, this directory structure you see here will actually mimic the exact directory structures of the computers that you upload data from. So we can see here the C drive, uh, if your files are in documents and settings or users, uh, you will see this exact uh, structure here. Um, so now we, we see this little arrow. This arrow is where we, we get our options from. So um, what's in, we can see there's a download, share and delete. Okay, so I just want you to note the share button here. Uh, we're going to continue into the folder, but that actually allows us to share an entire uh, folder. Today we're going to share just one file, uh, but if you wanted to, to share an entire folder you could. Uh, to do this, uh, we simply click on the share button here for an individual file. 
um, and we'll be given the option to email the, uh, the location of the file to someone and in that email they'll have a downloadable link to download the file so we simply add their email address to the send to we can uh, we can change any messages we want here we can add a little note just explaining why we're sending them this file and here we can set how long the file will stay online for quite simple and uh, send Okay. Another interesting feature is, of course, the versioning. So if you've uploaded new versions here, um, you'll see all the different versions of the file. So that means once you've edited and changed the file, backed it up again, the old edited file will also be here under the versions tab. Okay, so today I've showed you a fast, reliable and secure backup service uh, from a, from a well-known and well-trusted company. Um, and I think this is uh, very important to remember, especially when we're trusting uh, a company with our important files. Um, and I think that everyone should take this into account uh, when, when choosing an online service. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Thank you for watching.